Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Milo comes from the Greek moilos, meaning marrow. A myeloid neoplasm, then, is an uncontrolled proliferation of cells in the bone marrow, specifically the myeloid lineage, which includes red blood cells, megakaryocytes, which produce platelets, monocytes, and granulocytes, such as neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. The lymphoid lineage, on the other hand, are your B and T cells. Don't you worry about those just yet. Lymphoid neoplasms will be covered later on in the unit. For now, focus on abnormal proliferation of myeloid lineage cells exclusively. To illustrate this, we're headed to the MoMA, the Museum of Myeloid Art. Look, I know what you're thinking. Duh, myeloid art isn't real art. Look, I just blew my nose. Is that art? <laughs> Duh. Obviously, you need a little lesson on myeloid theory and appreciation. In fact, I guarantee that after I give you a little tour, you'll never look at myeloid neoplasms the same way again. Take a look at the sign above the museum. Since this entire sketch is going to involve overproduction of the myeloid cell lines specifically, we've incorporated a myriad of cell colors into the museum facade. That's red for RBCs, blue for basophils, pink for eosinophils, white for neutrophils, and tiny white dots for platelets. Of course, it can't be that simple. And there are actually three subcategories of myeloid neoplasms to keep in mind. First up, AML. Acute myeloid leukemia is caused by the abnormal proliferation of immature myeloid progenitor cells, called myeloblasts. So, for AML, think of these immature blasts of spray paint made by this punk over here. Those irregular splotches of paint are going to be our recurring symbol for immature cells getting pumped out into the circulation before they're fully formed. And because AML specifically involves the precursor to granulocytes, We've made the splotches blue, white, and pink to remind you of the basophil, neutrophil, and eosinophil progenitor cell. So remember, all those myeloblasts you see in the peripheral circulation of a patient with AML are granulocyte precursor cells that never matured. Though, is it really his fault? Or did society let him down? You be the judge. <laughs> 